your first alert forecast. We start off the day really in the upper 30s at the coolest. The clouds do at least kind of slow down our warming. Our temperature range only about a 10 degree difference, but not too cold this morning. Again, spotty showers developing at times really just after 7 o'clock is when that coverage jumps up. That's the leading edge of that front moving in, so it becomes scattered to then widespread with rain then changing over to some snowfall, leaving us today with 39 to start to 43 at 11. High today 49, another day to kind of get some errands run, get some things done, get a couple of specks of light rain trying to pop up throughout your afternoon. Temperatures just gradually climb. Also gives us more of a uniform temperature range in the forecast where you live. That's 49 Knoxville to Madisonville, 47 Kingston to 46 in Jamestown and 47 in Crossville, 49 in Williamsburg to 46 in Tazewell. 48 Rutledge and Newport and 47 in Townsend. Right, not a huge difference in temperatures because we share that cloud blanket today. Now tonight we'll take that cloud cover and we'll add in more of that leading edge of rain. Like I said, at six, seven o'clock, you can see that leading edge is just getting closer to the plateau. By eight o'clock, you've already got some rain on the plateau advancing towards the valley by nine to 10 o'clock. There's that line that changes over to snowfall, the freezing line. It is a rapid drop in temperature. I'm, talk I'm talking 40s to single digits from the beginning of the night to the end of the night. So we do start off with that rain and then as it changes over to snow, it starts drying out. A dramatic drop in temperature is also a dramatic drying of the air. So that's why it can't hold together on the snow side as much. And it starts becoming these kind of bursts of light to moderate snowfall that are more scattered, more broken. Little band there, foothills to mountains to far northeast Tennessee. This is all midnight 1, 2 a.m. Again, it's moving on quick. What will be left over will be that Arctic air. We'll have some spotty snow showers left in the higher elevations in the morning. But again, the snow is not our first alert. It is the temperatures. It is the winds that come with it, the wind chills. Now, we easily could have some ice on the roads because it can even overtake the warm surfaces with this dramatic drop. Like I said, 41 at midnight, 20 at 4 a.m. Feeling colder already, drop into single digits. And then that's more of our story for the day. At best, we make it up to around 14 degrees on Friday afternoon. It feels colder because of those southwesterly winds, 10 to 25 miles per hour. So we're going to stick with more of a mostly cloudy view on your first alert weather day tomorrow. A couple of light snow showers in the morning. You can see it briefly wants to kind of open up some of those clouds, but I really think most of the day is just mostly cloudy. And that only helps to reinforce how cold it is. It feels, it looks outside. Again, the snowfall part of this story still on track in our first alert forecast. We're talking zero to half an inch up through most of East Tennessee. Then you get some half an inch to an inch spots along the plateau, Tennessee, Kentucky line, isolated higher amounts on the plateau to the mountains of Harlan. And then you have to go up to the tippy top of the Smokies there to get more than a couple of inches. But that's because again, it's rapidly drying because it's rapidly cooling, which is why our first alert is for these feels like temperatures. If you're up early on Friday, I mean, it's going to feel like it's below zero. And sadly, that's not an exaggeration. I wish it was. I wish that we were saying, no, there's a chance. Unfortunately, no, it lo looks like the strong winds, this very cold air is just going to add up to this first alert weather day to feeling like it's closer to zero at best. Friday afternoon, still feeling below zero in our higher elevations. This will persist into Saturday morning, still feeling like a lot of negatives here, right? Below zero on into Saturday morning, dangerously cold. But Saturday afternoon, at least the winds are decreasing. So the feels like temperatures start coming back up to single digits to around 10 to teens Saturday afternoon, even though the highs in the 20s. And then we can wrap up our first alert weather day because at least the winds are no longer a part of the story. So during that Friday, Saturday time, number one, we could have patches of ice on the roads. Number two, of course, ongoing wind chills, but those winds could also bring down some trees. So power outages are a concern. Winds back off later on Saturday, then temperatures can slowly climb back up. So 28 on Christmas Day is cold, yes, but at least we don't have to deal with those wind chills and then we can warm up next week.